Day two at ZeroCon, Richard Hattersley here, and I'm joined today with uh, Caroline Plum Hi. from Fluidly. Good Hi, morning. hello, Caroline. And um, how are you finding today's event? Yeah, it's just brilliant. I mean, the passion, the energy, um, it's just a fantastic event. It's great to be here. And can you tell us a little bit about Fluidly, what you do? Sure, so Fluidly is building an intelligent cash flow engine. What is that, you're probably wondering. Uh, well, you don't have email without a spam filter, and there's no way you'd have an IT network without antivirus software. So what Fluidly is, a system of intelligence that wraps itself around your cloud accounting package and uses the data within it to firstly predict, make financial predictions about your health, and then spot opportunities for your cash flow and spot threats to your cash flow. Now, there, there seems to be um, some similar plays in the market, like I, Float might be one that comes to mind. So how can you really establish a distinctive identity when there are similar people within the marketplace? Yeah, so I think, you know, look, Uber wasn't the first minicab company out there, but it was the first to do something very different in, in the way you, how you do it. And I think most cash flow forecasting today is done on spreadsheets or kind of financial modeling software in the cloud. But fundamentally, um, it's a very manual process. It requires you to actually input all that data yourself. What Fluidly is doing is using data that already resides within the cloud accounting package and using that data to and machine learning to make an automatic prediction of a business's financial future and that's beneficial for a few th reasons firstly it takes a lot of the work out of it um, because actually I know when your back quarter is I know when your payroll is paid I know how invoices move and when they're likely to be paid based upon that history so why not use that data to computationally make that prediction in the first place and of course override it manually but at least have a starting point and the great advantage for that is by default we make a prediction so we ought to have an automatic always rolling forecast and the great thing about that is you can do continuous monitoring because you can always see how we think of businesses will perform in the future rather than having to be something that you do in batch processes manually infrequently and it's a really sort of different approach to, to, to forecasting and prediction. And um, cash flow is yeah. the easiest route into advisory um, and something like this is really going to disrupt those traditional conversations. Uh, so how do you think those conversations are going to be going forward uh, with things like this? So, I mean, I think the challenge for accountants is that compliance revenue clearly is falling and we're seeing more and more automation of um, traditional revenues. But the brilliant advantage is that accountants can now move from doing roles that perhaps was more about processing to actually being strategic and adding the value that clients want and I know they want to give. So what we do with cash flow forecasting and financial predictions forecasting is sort of allow accountants to be superheroes and sort of see around corners and see what's coming and then use that data to go beyond the what into the so what and now what, um, which is really where the value lies. So what Fluidly is about is providing accountants with an ability to um, sell more services revenue by actually having a kind of preemption and prediction of what their clients you know, might be getting into trouble on. You know, they're about to run out of cash or they've um, spent lots of money on research and development so they might need an R&D tax credit or they've just hired someone really senior so they might need an EMI option scheme. So spot those opportunities um, and have those kind of conversation starters into the advisory framework. Yeah, well, the, the stereotype is that accountants always seen as like the historians looking back at data, yeah. and this is totally going to change that stereotype. Yeah, so I, mean, I think accounts, you know, is often history, and this is an exercise in geography. You know, it's kind of telling you where to go, where you're going next. And um, this is really um, hinging on this massive emerging um, trend at the moment of machine learning and yeah. AI, especially at an event like this, it seems like it's really coming to its own. Yeah. Could you tell us a little bit about how this tech, how you see this tech really going to be shaping the profession in the years to come? Yeah, absolutely. So, I mean, um, so Fluid is one of the first really applied AI um, businesses applied to the um, focus on business cash flow and business finance. And, you know, of course, machine learning has been around for years. But I think where you're seeing the emergence of it today is that actually cloud accounting is um, now the adoption is just switching. And we're moving more into real time. I think in three years time, you know, all accounts will be, you know, really real time and with open banking and PSD2 you're seeing the new data sets emerge in, in banking layers so really for the first time you know the data is available for third parties you know like ourselves to use that and manipulate it so it's a huge opportunity and I think the you know the opportunity really is about capability development it's not always substitution I think people think of it as sort of the robots are coming and um, you know it's going to take away lots of jobs but actually it's not just about um, automation of existing but I think the exciting piece is what new capabilities can you add and, um, and this is one area.
And um, I can imagine accountants listening to this think it's brilliant, great stuff. Yeah. It, it almost seems like something out of a sci-fi movie. But I, I, at the back of their mind, they're probably thinking, how can we leverage this tech? So yeah. what advice would you give to an accountant how they can really make the most of this? Yeah. So I mean, we think ultimately it's just another tool. So, and our philosophy of using machine learning is that we're trying to be at the intersection of financial, artificial and human intelligence. And that's really important. It's about how do you merge all those you know, three together. Um, and so for accountants, it's, I think again, it's about adding new capability, um, being able to spot anomalies, um, or at least have a potential list of anomalies surface to you and then making decisions and judgment calls around that, about, and especially what to do from there. Excellent. Thanks very much, Caroline. Thank you very much. Thanks.